Good afternoon everybody, how are you doing? It's me Paddy from Cross the Shock and you're very welcome back to the channel. Well, you've seen in the title, this is a new, it's, it's a new review for me of knives made over here in the UK and I am so excited to bring them to you. I have a lovely relationship with Arthur Wright and Sons and with Ashley Harrison as you all know and I've sort of been just wrapped up in getting them at the moment but my eyes have been opened again, I found these are not new by any means, but it's just a company that I haven't followed up because I've been uh, a bit stuck. Not stuck because I've enjoyed every minute of it and I hope to enjoy a great relationship with Arthur Wright and Son. But this is another company that makes handmade knives in Sheffield as they have done for years, hundreds of years. Some of these companies, like the one that I, the knife I've got today, Joseph Rogers, dates back to the 1600s the end of the 1600s. So, and I have a, a great lot of history that I can tell you about it. And when I do the follow-up video to this, uh, I've got that little history episode that I'll put in with it. But today, I just want to show you the knives and tell you about the company, because you can go and check them out today. They're called the Eggington Group. You've seen it in the title. And they're, uh, it's just eggingtongroup.co.uk. Just go and hit on that. You go into the into their site and you can shop and you can go in and see what they have. They they carry a number of brands. The exciting brands for me are Joseph Rogers because I already collected, I've collected older models of them. They're not ancient old, but older ones. And I love having them. But George Wilson Home, which is a very well-known group, they make George Wilson Home knives. You're getting handmade knives from the They also have Eberson and William Rogers. But go on their site and have a look. I'm going to show you one of their high-end ones. And I, the reason I'm showing you one of their high-end ones, not that I asked for one. I, I, wrote, I spoke to James, who runs their uh, their advertising side of it, I believe. Um, advertising and publicising. So James was lovely. I said, look, I'd love to see one of your knives. Uh, I want to do a review on them, if that's possible. And he said he would send me one of their knives to review. And I am over the minute. He, he chose a knife. And... Kind as he is, I mean, he sent me one of their higher end range. This one's about £140, okay? And that's the higher end. That, that's about the limit of what they do. It's from 70 to 140 So these are not overpriced at all for what you're getting. This is a, a, a real, this is a collectible, this, this one here. But they have working ones which are in wooden hands. I've got this one in stag, which you're going to see in a moment. But I just want to thank him because that was really nice to... Go out on a limb, that's it, I'm, I'm only a YouTube channel and, I, and I, I keep getting surprised at the generosity of some of the companies out there to give their knives to me, especially British companies. I mean, for a long time, it just didn't happen. I never heard about it or seen about it. Now it's starting to happen. Emerson are starting to advertise more. They want to get their knives out there. They actually have a really special knife going at the minute, which is a, a, an anniversary of something. I, I just lost it in my head. But it's about £220, but it is absolutely amazing looking. Amazing. So you'll go and you'll see that on their site as it is at the minute. They're a limited number. I'm not sure how many they made, but it's limited, very limited. But anyway, let's get back. I do go on, don't I? I just waffle on. Anyway, this is the way this knife comes. This is a Joseph Rogers, which is the, the, the company I was interested in. I do have some Joseph Rogers knives. Uh, let me just show you before I, I go on. Well, this is a William Rogers. This is one of my favourite old knives in that buffalo horn. It is absolutely a gem. Um, I have the Wilson Home Knives. This is one I have. This is a fair age. This is one of their older ones. Um, I also have a pen knife by Wilson Home. And when I was having a, a quick flick through the um, Eggington pictures on the uh, George Wilson Home, they have a pen knife as well, which is something I'd be really interested in getting a modern version. This has the plastic handles, but it looks superb. Super little pen knife, as you know, great size. So um, I'll maybe try and get one of those uh, in the future. But let's get on to this one. Have it waffled enough? Excitement built up? Because it should be. This is another exciting company um, that I am just fresh with. Um, I know a lot of people are sitting top and saying, oh, how do you not know about that? Look at this. Look at that Barlow. Look at that beautiful stag. But look at this here. This is properly uh, 
milled out or whatever it is. It is the Star and the Maltese Cross, which is the, the signature for um, Joseph Rogers. Uh, he has them in all his knives, whether on the tang, but this Barlow has it on the bolster. I just love that. Let me get it out and we'll get a good look at it. Look at that. You can see how well that is in there. That is just stunning. And I I love like let me just show you how much I love Barlow's with uh this is this is I have a drawer full of knives that are just Barlow's that have got in, uh, the insignia companies, the names of companies on the tank on the uh the bolster. I just love it. It's one of my favourites. So <laughs> um, James didn't know that when I was uh, doing it. James had no idea. So this, I just, this is a treasure. This really is. Now, let me show you around the back of it. There it is. There's not a gap at all on the back of it. Uh, there we go. Perfectly centred blade. Uh, it's not particularly even there there is a little bit of a gap now if i'm being critical it's just me telling you what i'm saying as you know that's all i all i can do but this is the difference between getting a handmade night knife and a, a knife made by machines you will get sometimes a little bit of a difference it's not drastic it doesn't affect the knife at all but it's just part of being a handmade knife again these are handmade from start to finish handmade style i mean it's just that's the joy of it for me now, this is, and I haven't got, this is a uh, lamb's foot, a beautiful little lamb's foot. It's, you know, very nearly even a Warncliffe, isn't it? Very, in fact, I would maybe even say that is a Warncliffe, but it is a beautiful blade, whatever it is, whatever they're going to call it. I don't care because I just think it is stunning. I'm going to say it's a lamb's foot because it comes down to that really thin end at this edge, but uh, it could either be a Warncliffe or a Lamcliffe, but again, it's lovely. The size of it is just a perfect gentleman's knife. It is literally exactly six inches long. Smashing. Uh, the blade length is about two and maybe two and three quarters, say, at a, at a push. But going right back to, I was going to say that it's, it's not even two and three quarters. It's two and five eighths. Uh, the full length of the blade so completely uk legal but wow just look at that look at that knobbly and there isn't a really good or bad side this is another beautiful side to the stag isn't that lovely it's lovely and the pin work i love this these are put in by hand it's just gorgeous yes you know they might stick up a wee bit but for goodness sake in a handmade knife this i i Honestly, it's top of the range. You know, it really is beautiful. And the nice thing about these, they're not the same as Arthur Wright knives. You're getting a completely different make. Here's a little... Look at that lamb's foot compared to that, which, you know, heads or tails, don't know. But even the difference in the thickness of the knives, you can see that, the size of them. This is a, a, an Ashley Harrison custom. And this, so this is the same sort of quality, the same standard of knife made. Almost. But but that's that's neither here nor there. This is beautiful. A little gap. I don't even know what's gapish. I was cleaning it out. It was uh, like usual when a knife comes from a shop floor. There was a bit of gunk in it. I cleaned it out. There's no half stop in this. It is a beautiful. And it actually tightens up when it gets to here. And then you get that slap. Beautiful. Lovely walk and talk. It's not, it's a, an easy pull. It's maybe a, a five at most, but I mean, that's what you want in a little pocket knife. You're going to take this out, nip something. This is not for hard use. In fact, most people will not even use it. It'll go into their collection. I'm not like most people. And unfortunately, I mean, I've been given this knife. So I want to test it to its full. The edge on it, it it's not a sharp edge on it. Again, I'm not going to lie. I, I'm not going to put an edge on and pretend because when you buy the knife, this is what you're going to get. And that's why I, I believe that you like my honest opinion. It is not very sharp at all. But you should be able to sharpen your knife. Sorry, you just should be. I will sharpen this and get a lovely working edge on it. And I will use it and carry it. Will I hard use it? No. But this is the sort of knife that you would take to any occasion. I, I am absolutely transfixed, transfixed on this 
bolster. I adore this. And the nice thing about the bolster, you can see this here, but this is not a, a fault or anything. This is where they've just nipped it down to tuck the stag in so that it keeps everything solid. This is being done and folded over on purpose. And you can see here in the middle, that's the way you do these knives. That's the way they were done in years gone by. So the, they haven't changed much at all from what they've been doing for the last couple of hundred years. Obviously, there's some, you know, there's bound to be slight changes, but that, you know, that's it. This is just a proper handmade old fashioned knife from a company that's so well respected and was um, throughout the years, Joseph Rogers. I adore this knife. A lot of the times, you know, and this is the other knives they'll do as well. You know, these old knives that people are interested in. This was a Millennium knife. They do these type of knives as well. And they're they're really reasonably priced. I say they're basic wooden handle ones. Um, run £70. That That's nothing for a handmade knife. Come on, it really isn't. And, and to have a, a nice piece in your collection. I think I'll get a wooden one in the, uh, the next one. I'll get a wooden clip point Barlow or something. Um, I would like to see the this has been the high end version and a wooden which is the the lesser but no less they look beautiful, but I'll try getting a wooden one maybe the next time in a clip point just so you've got the the option of fancy working. Uh, that that really appeals to me. I I do like in a lot of knives having the fancy and the working. So look, I am over the moon that I've got this, and I, and I don't want to spoil it today by going on too much about it because i've only just got it i need to get an edge on it they're stainless steel blades uh, i would say some i think it's sf 100 or something like that but again i'll i'll just double check that before the next uh the main video where i'll put an edge on it we'll see what it's like in use and i'll talk a bit more about especially this knife joseph rogers and the history behind his knives adore i i just adore this I, i'm surprised i'm not surprised I'm just over the moon, really glad. I love that. Absolutely beautiful, right up the centre. Beautiful knife. And barring, that isn't even a gap. It is just slightly raised. That's all that is, just slightly raised there. I thought it was a gap, but it's not. It's just slightly raised. Listen, you can see. And that's it. You can't feel it when you put your hand there. It feels smooth to me. But again, the... The price I'm quite happy with, especially for that bolster. That is my star bolster. I wrote star. This is my star bolster. But I'll give you a little bit of history of the star and the Maltese cross and how it came to be there, uh, his logo that he used again on the tang or the bolster of Barlow's. Beautiful. Look at that rugged bit. And, you know, in hand, this is just a, this is just a lovely knife. I can get my four fingers on it. And especially with this, uh, bulbous end on it the way the stag sort of comes out at the end it just fits beautifully and you're up behind the tang so it's not going to close on you if that's what it would ever worry you use the knife right it'll never close on you but having it there it's not going to close no matter look at my finger you see how hard i'm pushing it ain't going to close on you perfect an absolutely perfect knife so I hope you like that. I hope you go and check the company out. That's what I want you to do. Go and check the company out. Don't wait for me. I, I mean, on, on this basis so far, I'm happy to check every model I've got out because this is just a beaut. And at £140, yeah, it's £140, but it's a beautiful knife for a collection or a beautiful knife for a nice occasion or if you work in an office. or This is just a superb example of British craftsmanship and i'm so glad to say that out loud i love it i say the same with arthur wright as well and ashley harrison it's british craftsmanship handmade in the old way properly from start to finish chuffed really nice to have it. james thank you so much this is just an introduction to your company i wanted to get the name out there because i've been and i've checked out the the, the other designs that you have uh, the other makers that you have I am so excited to start collecting them. Well, I st I'll never stop collecting uh, my Arthur Wright and my Ashley Harrison. They're, you know, that's it. But to get another company that's making a knife of, of a good standard is just fantastic. Really do. I am chuffed enough, James. And uh, again, thank you so much for the knife. And he also sent me, well, I must have just show you what he did send me. Where is it? What have I done with it? 
What have I done with it? I've no idea what I've done with it. Oh, here it is here. He sent me this little keyring uh, knife, which is brilliant. It's a little clip there. And look at this. I just love this. <laughs> just, and I would love to say that you're going to see this. Look at that little sheep's foot on there. Beautiful. And it is sharp, let me tell you. It is sharp. And you also have, let me just get it. You also have a little bottle opener and a small screwdriver, which is absolutely super. My wife seen this and said, I want it. So <laughs> I'm sorry, you'll not see it in my keyring, but you will see it on my wife's. She thought it was fantastic because she doesn't like showing knives. She usually kick, well, she carries a couple in her bag most days, but that's going to go on her keyring because it's covered and uh, it looks more ladylike. Ladylike? I don't know. I'd quite happily have it in my keyring, but sometimes you have to give the wife what she asks for. So again, take care. Beautiful knife. Over the moon with this. Really excited. Can't wait to get some more of their, their product line and uh, put them in my collection because you will see a lot more of these in my collection videos. Right, I've waffled on long enough. 16 minutes. I've done it again. I keep waffling. Take care, everybody. Look, I hope you, Let me know what you think of it. Have you used this company before? Have you had their knives before? Let's see. I have some of the older ones, but I'm now going to start getting new made ones that are, you know, Again, just part of my UK collection, part of my British collection of knives. And especially when it's a Sheffield made company that goes back to the late 16th century. And I'm sure they deliver worldwide. It's a big company. It's not a small company. But again, that information, if you don't find it out yourself from going onto their, their uh, uh, website, uh, I'll have that information for you the next time. Right. Bye bye. I'm gone now. <laughs> Definitely. Take care. Have a great day, everybody. Bye bye now.